Hello, in this tutorial I will talk about the gradient map adjustment layer. I will show you how it works and how you can use it on your artworks. And I will also show you the difference between this adjustment and the gradient fill adjustment layer and some other ways of making color corrections in Photoshop. Someone posted a comment on one of my YouTube videos asking what's the difference between a gradient map and a gradient fill layer. And he was also asking why sometimes I was using the hue saturation adjustment and sometimes uh, I was using the gradient map adjustment to make color changes. Well, in this video I want to show you how the gradient map works and also um, other color adjustment layers that I use and try to show you the difference between uh, each of them. But I will focus uh, more on the gradient map because I want to show you how that uh, adjustment layer works. I have this uh, simple setup here. Here on the top you can see this uh, gradient that I, that I just uh, drawn. And here you have a, an illustration of a gradient map. And I'll try to explain how this uh, adjustment works. Here on the on the left side, when you're working with the gradient maps in Photoshop, on the left side of the gradient you will always have the shadows, and here you will always have the highlights, and in the middle you have the midtones and all the other other tones uh, in between them. I used three colors for this uh, gradient. I could have used uh, two, but uh, I used uh, three, and you can see the same uh, layout here on the top gradient. And what a gradient map does, that's why it's called a gradient map, it remaps the colors. So for this example here I have the shadows to be blue, the midtones are uh, this uh, purple here, and the highlights are orange. So as soon as I activate this gradient map, you will see that indeed the shadows are blue, the midtones are purple, and the highlights are orange. So that's uh, what the gradient map does. And I'll show you that uh, with another example in a second. I'll just open the gradient because this was just an image. This is the actual gradient map. I could change the gradient if I want to. If I set this one, which is only two colors, you'll see that on the left side, on the shadows side, you have this uh, dark purple. And on the highlights, you have this orange color. And in the middle, you see all, uh, you'll see the transition depending on each tone. That you have and if I select this one for example you can see that the midtones are green and highlights are still orange and this is the color for the shadows and you have all this uh, middle this mix of colors between the tones here and let's work with another with another example let's open a stock image okay now we have this stock image here we have highlights here on the sky we have shadows on this part of the building and midtones here on the road and let's apply that gradient map adjustment and see what it uh, what it does so I'm going here down on the, on the layers palette and click this icon and select gradient map and you can see that the gradient that I have is black and white so the image is turned into black and white but let's change it let's use this one and now you can see that it happened exactly the same thing as it happened on that uh, example uh, that you saw a moment ago. You can see that the highlights are yellow because we have the highlights set to yellow. The shadows are blue. See that here on the on this building here, the shadows, the black color is blue now. And the midtones, which are uh, the gray tones on the image, like the road here are red and you can see the, the lines here which are highlights li uh, white color is also yellow so you have this all this mix it's always good to assign dark color uh, dark color tones to shadows and brighter color tones to highlights because if I reverse this you'll see that it's not looking good it looks it looks like a negative we have the highlights are darker than the and the shadows uh, which is not nice but if you if you're looking for some creative effect you can you can use that if you want to and also remember that you can you can use blend modes with this adjustment layer so right now I have it set on normal 
but let's change this for example to screen you can see that uh, the effect that we get or maybe to soft light and we get this sort of a vintage effect but we still have the same color set here let's change the, the gradient to this one for example and you can see that now the image looks green because most of the tones on the image are mid-tones all these buildings here we only have a few shadows here that's why most of the building is uh, is green so that's what gradient map does the difference between between this and the gradient fill let's change uh, actually the blend mode to normal again and deactivate the adjustment layer and add a gradient a gradient adjustment and select the same color when working with gradient fills you will see you will notice the difference right away and that's because you will see the gradient on the screen and if you double click to open uh, its window you will see that this is different you have a few settings here which are not available on the gradient map because they are uh, useless for example the style the, um, you can change the style from here these are useless for the gradient map because the gradient map interacts with the shadows and the highlights while this one uh, doesn't really care about the shadows and highlights on the image and you can also play uh, with the scale, you can change the scale. Yeah, that's the basic uh, difference, of course you can change the colors, you can use whatever colors you want and you can change the, the blind mode if you want to, just like uh, with the other one, but um, you, you will see that, uh, for example, I have here for the highlights I have set this to yellow, even if I change the blind mode, let's say, to multiply, you will see that um, the highlights, which is this part of the sky, is now purple because that's because I changed the, the angle. So it's not care. It, it, this adjustment doesn't care about the highlights and 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 shadows. It's just like painting with the brush, and it's a solid color. So that's the basic difference between these two adjustments. The gradient fill acts as a solid color adjustment uh, that you can change using the scale and uh, the angle settings well, and the gradient map interacts with the shadows and highlights and you can remap the colors, you can remap the entire image uh, based on the colors that, that you set for the gradient. Now let me address that question that I was talking about at the beginning of the video and the question was when to use the gradient map or the hue saturation adjustment or the color balance Usually I use the gradient map when I want to make more dramatic changes on the on the colors of the image or usually for creative effects uh, like you've seen here if I re-enable this adjustment let me change the, the gradient of course you can change these colors to make uh, your own your own um, color combinations and of course you can add more points if you click here you'll add more points and you can um, you can add any color that you want and from from the top here you can adjust the opacity but uh, let's leave this at 100% and click OK so as I was saying I, I use this usually for creative effects uh, when I want to give uh, usually on my final results I add a gradient map and change the blend mode maybe to soft light or some other blend mode and drop the opacity a bit I have a video called um, color matching and I use this for color matching as well I'll put a link on the video description and uh, you can go and watch that video that's from the manipulation secret series on episode 2 where I was talking about uh, color matching on several when you have several elements on the image how to make them match uh, how to have the same color I also use the color balance sometimes but uh, that's very different than using the gradient map because here you'll, you're limited all, uh, to this uh, six colors and basically what you're doing is just to shift the colors uh, for example now I'm on the midtones channel and if I want to uh, add more cyan on the midtones I have to take away some of the red so I slide this to the left and the image um, starts to look more uh, to have more cyan and if I want to add more blue, I have to take away some some yellow and 
that way you get this kind of cold image and you can of course uh, shift to the highlights which are these parts here and you can add more yellow on the highlights and of course it, it affects the entire image but it has more more effect on the highlights and you can see that especially here on this part of, of this building and these lines here and you can add more green and you can do the same for the midtones I mean for the shadows I was working with the midtones at the beginning and you can make this kind of effect with this as well but this is a bit uh, trickier to use if you're a beginner but again I use this uh, to make more um, subtle changes on the colors of the image the shift colors just like you've seen here and usually I use this on my final results as well and the hue saturation I only use it uh, let me add that as well I use this um, to make general adjustments you can of course use it to, uh, to shift colors but uh, most of the times uh, using this uh, hue slider is not going to give you good results most of the times I use it to desaturate the image or add more saturation I don't really play too much with the hue unless I want to I have an object which I want to colorize then I activate this colorize option and just uh, give it the color that I want using the hue slider and the saturation also and also the lightness slider so this was a quick overview of the three adjustments as I was saying uh, I wanted to focus a bit more on the gradient map hopefully you understand how it works if you have any questions just uh, post a comment on my website or on YouTube and I'll try to, to reply also if you want to learn more about Photoshop if you're a beginner on my website on psdbox.com I have this section called Photoshop for Beginners and I talk about everything like explaining the interface of Photoshop, the tools, um, how to create, um, how to create um, presets, how to work with some of the adjustments. I also have practical exercises uh, like you see here retouching, um, how to work uh, with the dodge and burn tool and differences between uh, adjustments and how to work with layer masks and stuff like that. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this tutorial. Until next time, this is Andre from PSD Box. Thank you for watching and see you next time.